Hi y'all, it's Brittany's Brittany's Creations. I have a pretty good yard sale haul to share with you. I got some really good deals. I mean, I did, um, everything adds up and I did spend some money, but I got amazing, I think I got some pretty amazing deals. Um, uh, two of the things here I wanted to share with you. The first thing is this bird cage, and this had, this was actually a pet bird cage, and I took the bottom off, and I still have to clean it up more. I power washed it, but I didn't get everything off of it, but I totally can alter this, and I got this in the trash, literally, like, in bulk garbage, so, hey, what's it to you? And this guitar my dad found and gave it to me. Um, I do play guitar. This isn't really worth much, about $50, $60, or well, $30, $40, $10, $10 to $15 at, like, a yard sale, so, um... And one of the strings is broken. So, um, but I do real, if you guys have seen my other video, I altered this guitar. So I'm excited to do something with that one. I hurt my finger today. I don't mean to give you the finger, guys. Um, I got it caught in a cabinet and I'm bleeding all, it pulled up my whole nail and I'm bleeding and really, really painful. Um, that has clothes in it, so I'm not really going to show that because that's just for me personally um so the first thing is this is a industrial attic fan it doesn't work but i paid two bucks for it now i collect vintage pieces like this and it is pretty big pretty bulky um i'm either going to keep it for decoration and make um i'm either going to use it as a decoration piece when i move out um i'm either going to i'm either going to alter it eventually make it into an art piece you just save it for decoration or make it into some form of wall art piece um like a painting do something with it or make it into some kind of storage piece so i am very excited about this and two dollars i think wasn't bad at all um and if you see here i bought this porcelain doll she will only go between $15 to $25, but I did pay $10 for her because I knew exactly what the doll was, but the money for this specific yard sale I went to, I went to different, uh, multiple different ones. It was like a community. The money for this was a fundraiser for money to go to Nepal. Um, so I did, I pretty much donated. I would have asked $5 for her, but I gave her 10 and I collect porcelain dolls and she is so pretty and she's like emerald and she's a little teddy bear uh she's from the 19 i believe 1979 ish but really beautiful and i have her in the packaging um i bought this wood and glass game set i originally gonna was gonna use it to alter and use the pieces but this game set i looked online it retails for 70 dollars someone um someone i went to princeton university princeton you know new jersey princeton university that kind of around that area so someone actually won this like at stanford university and some kind of chess small math something thing and it's signed on the top about it so this does retail for 70 dollars. so i'm debating if i'm going to keep it um for myself personally because i do play chess there's three games there's back backgammon checkers and chess so i'm debating i only paid three dollars for it um so yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, over here, which I was like stepping on, um, I got some lace pieces. These were 50 cents each. There's, they're like, they're about like, they're scarves. So there's this really beautiful one here. And then there's this more soft vintage one. And then I have this one too. Which is crocheted. And then, um... I bought this birdhouse and clock. Um, I paid three dollars for this. And it opens up in the back to get to the clock piece, and it works. You can see it moving. So I paid three dollars for this and this box, which I will alter. So it said fifty cents, and then that was marked three dollars. So I asked her three dollars for both. Um, I believe I bought the fan. I bought the fan. Um, this little steampunk, um, Ben's, um, art piece from, like, 19, 1983, handmade, it was marked. I got this, 
the industrial fan. Um, I got the Coca-Cola sign. Um, and then these two other signs. The, all the other vintage, si vintage signs my mother got. Um, I got those. So, let me see. All of that. And this vintage washboard, all for $8. This had $2 marked on it. And this is glass. I know this is worth money. So I do have to look it up to see exactly. It does hang up and, you know, I have to, it's all marked and stuff. So I have to see exactly. But, got another one. I mean, I paid $2 for this. I paid $10 for that one. That's not worth extremely that much but it's okay I bought that more of an antique place though okay back over here um, I got these two really pretty Victorian um, carriage and horses the frames there's two of them um, I got this little display easel And I'm trying to think of what I bought all together. I know I got those two. I bought this. And I bought that doily. And I bought these two precious moments, I believe, for $5 for everything. But I got um, three different precious moments because I do collect these. I've, I get one for each, I get one for my birthday each. So the date, I have up to, I think, 16 or 17, something like that. I think 16. Um, my birthday's actually next Tuesday. <laughs> um, Alright, so I got this address book, which I'm going to alter. Um, I got these two frames, they were a dollar each. Um, there's like New York newspaper print. Like newspaper framed in it and they were a dollar each I'm I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in here I may or may not but I got it mostly for the frames and there's two of them so um, I got some acrylic stamping blocks and some Jolie's flowers um, I got these very shabby frames um, I got some ink and then these three frames, I didn't pay a dollar for them. I paid a dollar for all three of them. And they're already they're already whitewashed, which is really cool, which I thought was awesome. So I thought that was a really cool find. And I'm going to sit down. Um, I got this cork. Someone was going to do like a project or something. And it's a canvas board with corks on it, so I'm going to alter it up more. And ta-da! It is broken. Um, I mean, it's broken, but I paid five bucks for it. Five dollars is not bad even for a broken typewriter. Even broken ones, a lot of them go for 60 to 70 dollars. So five bucks, I'm happy. And I'm either, again, gonna keep this for myself for display, make it into an art piece, or alter it itself. So, don't know yet, but my first one I was able to get, so I'm very happy. Um, I got this little teddy bear for free, and I'm actually going to um, unstitch him. And I'm going to make him, I'm going to turn him inside out, make him into like a punk rock kind of teddy bear. I think I can do that. I mean, he's kind of, I have to see what kind of, how he's stitched, but that's what I'm hoping to do. Um, these were 50 cents each. These are like Bibles and Testaments and stuff. Most, some of them are, um, one of them's in Spanish. They're, um, of the Romans. Like, again, I was in, I was in Princeton University, so, but I got them for the, the book paper. So I was running out of vintage book paper, so. And I like buying, like, Testaments and stuff. It works really well. So, this is a Bible. This is in Spanish. I can actually read this. I speak Spanish, so that one, and then another one here. I just I like the the see the the writing. That I believe this is in 
Greek. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Haha, uh -huh, I was right. I didn't even know that. I'm actually studying um, ancient Greece and Rome right now, so that's why I kind of figured that out. They smell really old. I like the smell of books. Is that weird? I know other people like that too. This is also in Greek. But yeah, there's that. Um, I got all of these frames for 50 cents. So it says 50 cents for like the sets, but I paid 50 cents for all of them. So. Yeah. Ta-da. There's pink ones and then there's white ones. So I thought, you know, I found smaller ones, smaller like shabby frames. I'll either use them for display for now until I get to alter them, use them on like lace projects and stuff. These are some like table runners. I paid a dollar each. There's four of them. There's two of these. And then there's this one here. Really pretty. And then this one. This is gorgeous. Sorry, my camera thing is hanging down. Um, and then I got some googly eyes. These were free. I'm not going to pass up googly eyes. I also got these terracotta pots. These were also free. So I got four of them. Um, and then I got these playing cards. I paid a dollar for all of those and that address book. Gonna back up. I gotta scoop my boot. Um, I paid two dollars for the lantern with the corks in it. So I, I'm gonna use the corks and alter the lantern. I paid a dollar each for these canvases. I'm gonna paint over them. Um, I paid two dollars for all of these competition books. I'm gonna alter them. I paid a dollar for all of these wine bottles. And they're already spray painted gold. Well, not gold, they're copper which I think is awesome. The lady already spray painted them and she was so nice to me and she gave them all to me for a dollar. And I'm gonna make some steampunk altered bottles. Um, I paid a dollar for this little, little container. I can always use that. I got this sled for free, so I'm definitely gonna alter that. I paid a dollar for this book box, so I'm definitely gonna alter that. Um, I got this whole box for free. These are all computer um, circuit boards, um, which I also know what all these are. Um, but this is a lot of outdated technology that most people don't use, you know, like, this is a speed ad wireless speed adapter. I'm going to use this on, um, use these on mixed media projects. So a lot of it is, is outdated technology. But the guy gave it to me for free. So... <laughs> that's really good and I actually use circuit boards on that but I, I have used them in like more cooler ways I guess to say so these are all circuit boards this is a remote piece would be really cool on the project these are battery packs these are bad I believe these are batteries aren't these batteries these are HP I think batteries if not, they're hard drives. I'm pretty sure these are batteries. If not, they're hard drives. And there's two of them in here. I'm not going to keep them, though. I'll probably sell them because I'm selling... You can see all the stuff over there is for my yard sale that I'm having. So, and then this is just a... I believe this is a... a this is just a disk drive. That's just a drive. And I'll either alter that or just get rid of it. But all these other pieces... Um, I'm definitely going to use it. All, this is all mostly outdated technology, but I got that for free, which is pretty good to me. Um, I paid a dollar for this cork board and chalkboard, which I'm going to alter. It's a little banged up, but that's fine. I paid, oh, these are mag, oh, I didn't even know that was a magnet. Oh, I didn't even know that. I paid five dollars for both of these. <laughs> yeah, I paid five bucks for both of these. And I didn't even know I could take these off. So I could take these off if I want. And they're clocks. So um, I'm going to, I have to test them out to see if they work. If they don't, and I have like a bar where they can hang up and stuff. But if they don't work, I'll just replace the, I can replace this. So, but I paid $5 for both. So I'll have a lot of fun altering those. I think those are really pretty clocks. And then that's just my washboard again. 
And then lastly, if I scoot, I bum around, I paid a buck for that. Which is a really cool storage piece. And I'm definitely gonna alter it, but I'll use it for storage until I get to alter it. And it's chicken wire. So, hey, chicken wire, anything with chicken wire sells me. But I'm gonna have lots of fun altering this. So, yeah, paid a buck for that. So, I had a lot of fun. I think I did really well. Um, so, yeah. And if you guys are actually interested on June 7th, the rain date is June 14th, in Twin Rivers, um, in East Windsor, New Jersey, um, in Twin Rivers, if you go to the Twin Rivers Mercer County Library, um, in that parking lot, um, and the field next to the library is the Twin Rivers Community Yard Sale. Hundreds of people come out. There's thousands of items. My personal stuff is fairly cheap. Like everything, there's stuff marked, everything that's marked five cents is um, five cents each or 22 for a dollar. Anything marked 10 cents is 12 for a dollar. 25 cents is five for a dollar. 50 cents, three for a dollar. Anything a dollar is six for five. Uh, tons of clothes. There's a lot of TVs, a lot of electronics.